he tells a story of Hurricane Carter uh, in the in in this section of the book, and you know, he was he was a middleweight title contender back in the mid nineteen sixties, and and basically he um, ended up being put on trial uh, for a crime to um, you know murdering people and and a couple of other atrocities, right? And he received a he basically in that time there was you know there was a lot of problems around in terms of the judicial system and you know they probably still got big big flaws but i imagine things have got better but either way he he received a sentence for three life sentences and um for a crime that he had n- nothing to do with so um and was obviously sent to prison now when he when he entered the prison he's been noted as um, looking the warden in the eyes and um, proceeding to inform the warden that and the guards that you know he was not giving up the last thing that he controlled himself, and so he took that whole mentality into this this triple life sentence that he hadn't committed any crime for, um, and it took him nineteen years um, of two different trials to overturn the original verdict. Um, through constant persistence um, and you'd be pretty pissed off I imagine or seemingly pissed off that it took 19 years and you were you were in there for 19 years which is almost a full life sentence in itself and he walked out and didn't take any retribution no civil civil suit followed to recover damages for the 19 years and just resumed his his daily life so that's it's a pretty powerful Powerful story of just just how far you could take something like that. You know, it's 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 never, you know, you never you never have such a bad problem that, yeah. You know. That's pretty amazing. That would have broken me. Uh, <laughs> you're yeah, not, you're, you're not the only one. Mate. 